Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy a crypto trading bot utilizing the MACD indicator strategy on the Quadensi platform. Now, I want to point out that Quadensi has upgraded their MACD strategy to their version 3. And so the parameters will be a little bit different from the previous strategy I deployed not too long ago. And that bot actually got stopped, I believe, because the MACD v2 version is no longer available. And that was actually winning the battle. I was up 23% in a short period of time. Now, if you're not familiar with Quadensi, they are a all-in-one crypto trading platform that allows you to connect all of your exchanges via API keys to their platform. And that allows you to manage all of your exchanges from the platform rather than having to log into each individual exchange. Today, we'll be focusing on their bots and in particular, their MACD bot. Now, as far as the required investment to get started, we'll jump over to the pricing page. And as you can see, you can actually get started for free. And the MACD bot we'll be deploying today is actually available under the free account. And I will drop a link down in the description for Quadensi and you can actually get started for free. However, I can show you how to get the pro plan, which is the plan I use for free as well. And that would open up other bots that they offer. And you can get that pro plan for free by simply connecting one of these exchanges to the Quadensi platform. So today I'll actually be trading on the KuCoin exchange. I already had a KuCoin account open before I joined Quadensi, so I just selected connect and I received three months free of the Quadensi Pro plan. Or for example, if you want to open a new OKEX account and you just click on open and you would receive six months free of the Pro plan. So by connecting any one of these partner exchanges, you can get either three months or six months free of the Pro plan. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to actually configuring the bot. So after you've joined Quadensi from the main dashboard, you're going to more than likely need to add an account or an exchange. And so you could click on add account and exchange account. You would then select the exchange that you wanted to add. And at that point, you would paste in your API keys for that exchange. Now you may need to go to your exchange and create API keys and then at that point copy and paste them over here. And then after you connect your exchange it will show up over here on the left hand side of the exchanges you have connected and now you could actually go trade via these exchanges without having to jump between them. But in this case we would click on the bots tab because we want to configure a bot and you can see they have a variety of bots available from like a grid trader to a market maker. You can connect TradingView alerts to trigger buys and sells via the TradingView alerts. But today we'll be configuring their MACD bot. And so you would shoot the select button, give it a click, and you would arrive at the parameter configuration page. And from there you would want to name the bot. And in this case I named it Bull MA. And the exchange I would select from the list of exchanges. And I'm going to deploy this on KuCoin. And then you would need to select your API keys that you have connected. And in this case, I labeled those KuCoin V2. And then the market you need to select. You can simply search by typing in the pair that you want to trade. And in this case, today we'll be doing Theta USDT. And then it will show you your available funds. I have USDT in the amount of $900 available on KuCoin to trade. And then Theta, I don't hold any Theta, which for me, ideally, I don't want to actually hold the coin. I want it to start fresh with a zero balance. And the next configuration section is the strategy settings. And I need to give my bot some starting capital. And in this case, I'm going to give it 500 USDT in ammo. The candle time frame I'm going to be trading on will be the one hour. The MACD slow period I have selected as 36 the MACD fast period 
I have configured at 18 and the MACD signal period I have configured as 9. Now these are not the defaults. I tend not to use default settings on the majority of the indicators that I use. And so I suggest you do your own recon. This video is more about how to set up, not how to copy. If you don't understand where I come up with these numbers, well, I don't expect you to. They're numbers I came up with. They're not the default setting. So with that being said, you do what works for you not what works for me. What works for me, more than likely, you won't have the same risk tolerance that I have, and I never recommend you copy my settings. This is not a 100% always right strategy. And with that being said, the new features added to the version 3 of this MACD strategy on Quadency is take profit, and stop loss. In the past, the strategy was based on buying when the MACD line crossed above the signal line, and in the past, it would sell when the MACD line crossed below. And the difference on the sell side is the sell will occur either when you hit your profit target or your stop loss is triggered. So for this strategy, I've configured the profit target at 9%, and the stop loss trigger level will be four and a half percent. That's basically a one to two risk versus reward ratio. So now all my parameters are configured. I'm ready to do a back test. And so I just click on back test and select one month and start back test. All right, so the back test is finished and the results look pretty good. For a one month period of time, I'd be up 76% using this MACD bot strategy. And if you're not familiar with what the MACD indicator looks like or how this strategy would actually work, the MACD is basically a moving average indicator. And what you're looking for is the blue line in this case would be the MACD line, the orange line would be your signal line and so when the macd crosses up above that would be a buy signal and in the past when the blue line or the macd line crossed down through the orange line that would be a sell but the bot is no longer operating that way it is now selling based on either your profit or your stop loss and so you can see a few times where the blue line crosses up those are all going to be buys each time you see this blue line crossing up through the signal line. And if we zoom in to an area here on the chart, you can see these little green arrows are your entries and the little red arrows are your exits. So over here we have a green arrow entering on the corresponding cross and then it exits up here taking profit at 9%. And so that's how this strategy would look like on a chart. Now, you might be wondering, how does this strategy compare to just buying and holding Theta since Theta has had a huge run-up recently? And so this 76% return, what is that in comparison to just buying and holding? Well, I can jump over to CoinGecko and show you under the Theta Network stats, if I scroll down here, you can see over a 30-day period, Theta is up 141%. So I actually only achieved half of what the market return would have been had I bought and held. Now that might be satisfactory for you. It's hard to outperform a run up like this with a bot. But with that being said, what happens if we tweak our parameters? Now, I would never recommend you deploy a bot without a stop loss. That's like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're probably going to get killed. However, I'm going to adjust the stop loss to 100%, which basically means there is no stop loss, and redeploy this bot just to show you what the results would look like. Now, the back test has been completed, and without a stop loss, you can see we would have been up 167% and would have outperformed the 141% that Theta was up on coin gecko so this strategy has the potential to outperform market returns however again by no means do i recommend going into battle without a stop loss
Now, for me, while I think Theta is a solid project and still has room to move up, I think right now it is getting a bit overextended. So I'm going to look to deploy this strategy on a token that might not actually be overextended. And in this case, I'm going to choose the BNB USDT pair. And when I run a back test on that with the same settings, it looks like the back test has positive results of plus 41 percent so i'm comfortable deploying the bot on the bnb usdt pairing and so i'm going to deploy the bot simply by shooting the start live button over here give it a click and it will want to confirm that i want to deploy this bot and so i click start live mode and you can see the bot is now live and started now that pretty much wraps it up. I will do an update video on how this bot is performing, profit or loss. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like the video, do me a favor, spike the like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Quadency in the description down below. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.